Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think real hard about what you wanna be. Step four, f everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Hey guys, welcome back all to my channel. So today's video is our monthly 24 hour readathon. Try again. So <laughs> I tried to film this video last weekend. Things like to shit and it just did not happen. So we're trying again this weekend. We're trying again. Um I am also filming another video as this goes. Um so I've still not decided if I want to split my views between that video and this video. I'm unsure. I decided and let you guys know what happens as we go. Um, but the first book we have written is The Brother Hawthorns by Jonathan Barnes. This is classed as the fourth book in the series. I'm still not 100% sure if it technically is or not. I mean, it's being classed as it, so I mean, I'll take it and say yes. There is another one coming, bloody hell. Whew. So, we shall see. <laughs> I don't. I think more mentioned it, and then it's just gone on my head and I've just read it. Um, so, yeah, so we're going to start with this video, uh, this book. I do have others obviously planned to read, but I'm filming a lot of videos this month, so there's going to be a lot of overlapping. Um, but yeah, I'm currently just need to go and edit and upload a video because I'm running a little bit behind on Fridays once it's up today. Um, and yeah, I'm going to start off once I'm about to see. I did see that someone said they were a little bit disappointed by this book, so I'm trying to grasp the vibe of this book um so i will let you know how it goes what it's like um but yeah i will catch you guys later once i've actually started okay so i didn't get around to updating you guys yesterday because i was out longer than planned um most of the day pretty much the entirety of the day um i was out so we never got around to updating i've only read for like an hour and 10 minutes um so i've not read for long because yeah i didn't really get the chance to read i did some reading at my grandparents in the morning at my grandparents and then when i come back in the evening i did a little bit um but if i'm being like a hundred percent honest with you guys also i'm reading the brother hawthorns right now um sorry he doesn't probably hit the shaking um so i'm reading brother hawthorns as you guys and I'm only up to chapter 14, page 64. And I'm not going to lie to you. It's not gripping me in. It's not hooking me in like the other series did. Like, don't get me wrong. I didn't fly through the other books um, that I can recall. But, like, they at least left me hooked and wanting to know what was going to happen and, like, intrigued into the story. And, like, I'm not getting that feeling at all with this book um we know what's happening we know both of their like games the tasks that they're going to be doing um and they're already like setting into action those things and it's happening but like they're not ones that have actually left me wanting to know like the brothers are in two separate countries right now for two different separate things but I, we're seeing more of Jameson at the moment than we are of Grayson, like, in what we've had. And, like, there's been a couple of flashbacks, like, things from their childhood, but, like, nothing crazy. And I'm just like, yeah, it's not hooked me in. So I'm actually at, currently getting a little bit disappointed by the book. Um, so, yeah. Obviously, I'm not going to do an effort just yet. I'd like to reach 100 if I can. Um, if not further, because it's not really that long of a book. It's like 300 and something, I think it was. Or was it 400 and something? 400 and something. Okay, maybe it's a bit longer. 469. It's okay, it's fairly long, but I'm not, yeah. Because it's a bit between Jameson and Grace in the point of view. And that, but like, I'm not left eager to know. Like, I've not been left dying to find out what's going to happen between them and what, well, not necessarily between them, but their stories and, like, how it's all going to end. Sorry, I'm currently setting off with reading sprints because I've got reading sprints today. 
it's Sunday, so it's room sprints today. So I'm currently setting up for room sprints. So apologies for all the moving about. Um, but yeah, I've not been left dying to know, shall we say. Um, so yeah, I'm getting a little disappointed. And I'm not going to lie, yes, I'm not going to do enough just yet. Like I said, I'd like to reach 100 page mark. But, sorry, I just hit the mic. Um, but it is leaning towards possibly being a DNF for me as it stands, um, which is disappointing because I, like I said, I did like the Inheritance Games trilogy. So to then not be enjoying this one, especially when it follows the brothers, um, who, you know, we didn't really, yes, we saw them, but we didn't really get their perspectives and stuff in the trilogy is a little bit of a disappointment um so I'm just plug my charger in so that is where we are at if I can plug my charger in get in there we go um so yeah I'm a little little disappointed as it stands um with this book it's not as enjoyable as one would like it to be. Um, so, yeah, I'm a little, I don't really know fully what I want to do as it stands. Like I said, leaning towards a DNF, I don't really want a DNF either. Because um, it could then, you know, pick up and shit. I'm really, really torn. I'm really, like I said, there's just something about the writing on this one that just doesn't feel the same as the trilogy. So, therefore, it's not hitting the same. I don't know. I'm really into that. I'm going to obviously read more during sprints, get some more time done. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where we're at in the vibes right now. Not so good. Not so good. But yeah, that's where I'm going to leave it for you guys' update. I might update you guys at the end of sprints. Um, if I decide to DNF during sprints, obviously I will update you guys and let you know. Um, but yeah, we're going to put some background music on and we are going to get ready for room sprints. So I have finally finished Red Horse ones. We are now... Seven hours and fifty six minutes into our twenty four hour readathon, um, and I'm disappointed by this book. I'm giving it a three point seven five, and the only reason it's getting a three point seven five is because the last quarter of the book, but like the last quarter of this book redeemed itself. Um, I'm intrigued to see what's going to happen in the next book, but I would say I'm dying for it. Like I'm not going. Oh my god, I need that book now because of the ending. I could quite easily wait. Like it really is not a bad to me and like I really don't care so I was really let down by this book it didn't hook me in like I said the last quarter is where it really sort of picked up and things started happening and became a little bit more interesting but yeah like the first three quarters of the book I was just left like Ugh. I wasn't like hooked into it at all um I mean I still read it in a really quick time I only started it yesterday and I mean I did the screen mistake but yeah um, but that's just because the chapters are so short that you just don't fly through them. Um, yeah, I was actually very let down. I didn't have to use after sprints because I thought I was really close to finishing the book, so I thought I might as well just finish it off and then come back with you guys. And then I had dinner, so that's why we're now here where we are. But yeah, we are now seven hours and 56 minutes in, um, and we are first bit down. Um, my next book I'm going to read is actually going to be a reread, and I'm going to be rereading the Atlas 6. By Livy Blake. Now I know I said I had some other books to read, but I'm closing and I need stuff on the My Fantasy video. So this is part of that video. So you this in this video you won't hear much about this book. It will be mainly in that video. I've got a lot of video crossovers, okay? I apologize. <laughs> it wouldn't have been this many if I was able to film it last week, like I wanted to, but like I said, shit happens, life happens, we keep going. So we're rereading the Atlas 6. Um, and I'm going to catch up with you guys later once I've started it. I, th I really have nothing to say because that's how disappointing this book was. I literally have like nothing really to say on this book. So hopefully going back and go and reread a book I loved and enjoyed the first time around. 
Oh, redeem myself. Um, I thought we could do a little update while I finish getting ready for the day. Um, I didn't read anything else last night. I was too tired, my head hurt, and I was like, you know what? I've done those reading today. I'm gonna take the evening off. So we did. Um, but I've read for like another two hours this morning. Um, we're now at like nine hours and fifty seven minutes, and I started at six, went up to page eighty five. There isn't really chapters. It's titled based on whose perspective it is, so it's not like number chapters. So I'm page eighty so we've made a solid dent into this book and obviously this is a reread for me so there isn't really too much to say and go on and obviously all my thoughts and stuff are going to be in my other vlog where I read fantasy for a week so I just wanted to update you guys on the time for this video um and yeah I'm now going to Go and do work now, so I'm going to go on live. Um, it's Monday, so I'm kind of trying to start doing lives on a Monday and a Friday and to kind of just go from there. Um, so yeah, that is where we are at for today. So I'm going to update you guys later once I have read a little bit more of this evening. Welcome back to this angle, and welcome back to the next day. Um, so I didn't film anything yesterday because by the time that I Got around to reading and finishing reading. It was late. Um, I did read for a bit longer, so now I think it's about another two hours, but yes, yeah, so I'm now 11 hours and 57 minutes, and I'm up to page 159 in the Atlas 6. So we have read a fair bit more and delved a little deeper. Um, but yeah, so my aim of the game today is to read the rest of this morning and finish the Atlas 6 because I should finish this fairly quickly this morning. So that's the end of my game this morning. Um, I'm not going to update you guys too much on here because I'm going to leave this obviously all to the fantasy vlog. Um, but yeah, just know that we've read for like another two hours and we'll do another read for probably another few more hours and get this book finished this morning. So I haven't updated you guys yet on time um because i finished reading the atlas six just before walking out the door we now have so i finished that around the 14 15 14 hours and 15 minute mark um we are now up to 15 hours and 35 minutes into this readathon and i have started the atlas paradox again i've got the jacket off because I don't like reading a hardback with the dust jacket on so yeah um obviously all my thoughts and opinions of this book are going to be in my other vlog as well so i'm just gonna update you guys in times and sort of where we're at and give you guys a rough kind of vibe of where we're, what we're feeling then um but 45 pages in not bad enjoying it pretty much picked up quite off where it's left off um so yeah that's where we're at we'd finished our second book of this readathon and we have started our third let's keep going so we've been reading for some more we are now at 17 hours and 22 minutes and are you still on yes you are um, so yeah so we're reading for 17 hours and 20 minutes and we've made a good dent into that paradox i'm 98 pages in about a fourth of the way um and i'm enjoying it but my head is about ready to explode like there is so much information going on um and i kind of talk more in the fantasy vlog and i get like a little spoiler in there so if you guys have read this and obviously you can go check that out to see my views and opinions um but yeah there's a lot and there is definitely i was expecting a bit more of something but we're not getting it at the moment um i imagine it's going to come soon i hope anyway but yeah i was kind of like going to start this expecting a little bit more on that side of things but it's not really hit um but we are getting a lot of tension in the characters and we're seeing a bit more of another character so it's yeah a lot um and i'm calling it a night tonight hopefully we have six and a half hours left just over six and a half hours left of this read of one so theoretically i should get this finished tomorrow i definitely want to try and finish this book tomorrow i could i have read how the map pages that I left this book I've read in a day before like with other books obviously with this one there's a lot going on so 
let's see but the hope is maybe i can it depends on how much time i can give myself to read tomorrow with work this i need to do in the morning so we will see but i think i should be able to finish this challenge tomorrow so i might find an audiobook that i can listen to whilst i work tomorrow and we'll just see you guys need to excuse how rough i look because i look like fucking shit um today hasn't gone as expected in the sense of reading but i have actually got a lot done today i had a very productive work morning went to the shops got some notes come back we packed orders we were doing some designs we were completing forms and office stuff and yeah organizing we were literally were doing so much today so in that time i forgot to plan it I literally did not even contemplate listening to an audiobook. I generally completely forgot. Um, so I didn't get any reading done until like late this afternoon, evening, um, where I did get some reading done. I'm now up to page 157. So I've made another good den. Um, we have um, we have been reading now for 19 hours and seven minutes. So we've still got about another just under five hours left. Um which I should have, I would have got done obviously if I remember to listen to an audiobook while I was working this morning, but I fucking didn't, did I? So yeah, that's interesting. But yeah, we did get some reading done. I'm enjoying it. It is just very heavy. Very heavy, which is making it a little bit harder to get through, but it's fine. We're gonna keep first because it is good and the plot is good and it's again interesting, but it's just heavy, so it's just a little bit longer now to get through it. Obviously, I'm not helping by some fact I haven't read much today. We'll have time to. So, on that note, plan of action tomorrow is working in the morning before I go to my conference. Now, I should, in theory, be able to get the time done before I go to my conference. Kind of. Maybe I have a couple, you know, I'll probably have a couple of hours left. Think about what time I'll probably go. What time I'm ready. Yeah, I'm about to get like three hours done in the morning. So in that time, I am going to listen to the audiobook. I'm going to listen to the first, the second book in the Shami series. Because I've read the first, and I've read the first of the so I need now the second book. I'm going to read that. Let's start listening to it tomorrow. Um, to go some time, and also to have lots of reading and some books and stuff. Um, and then when I get to my grandparents, I will take this with me and I will probably read some more and hopefully finish the time off of my grandparents. Um, and then when I come back, I will update you guys because obviously I don't really like filming at my grandparents because obviously I don't want to put my grandparents on the internet. So, yes, that is probably my plan of action tomorrow to then try and get the time done tomorrow. Hopefully. Hopefully. She prays. I just generally this today just generally forgot to even contemplate doing an audio book like I barely even touched my phone today like during like morning afternoon because I was just so busy doing this job. So, yeah that's all that's what will happen with the red phone I will be with you guys tomorrow. I will update you before I go to my grandma's based on how much time I did manage to get do and how much I managed to get read so yeah I'll update you guys then it's the next morning and apparently we're still looking like shit, but it's fine. Um, I have this read for this morning, so we're now at 21 hours and 21 minutes, so we've got just under two and a half hours left, no, just over two and a half hours left. But I did start listening to an audiobook, I did start listening to Unravel Me. Um, I'm already up to chapter 38, halfway through this book, and I'm enjoying it, it's good. So I'm, I'm getting ready to go out, guys. Um, yeah, I'm enjoying it. It's good. Um, it's very fast paced, which makes it so easy because the chapters are so short. So it's so easy to fly through. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say. Like, I enjoyed the first one. And the novella was good. Um, and it was, yeah, it was the characters I feel aren't very well developed i guess is maybe the word thing wrong like the characters are good and, like they're lovable in their own like little ways and stuff um but yeah i'm still i don't know i'm trying to figure it out like i enjoyed like i said i enjoyed the first one i think i gave it like 
4.25? What is it? Think. Future me will put up here when editing. Um, so yeah, like I enjoyed it, but I don't really But I think it's today. But I think it's today. Um yeah, I enjoyed it. Um I am enjoying this one too. God, I don't can't put my thoughts into words this morning, guys. My brain's not woken up with us yet today. Um but just know that I've read some more and I'm enjoying it. I will try and get my thoughts more together later in whatever I'm reading. We'll go to my grandparents. I'm gonna take the atmosphere paradox with me. Um I'm gonna try and get back into that if I can. Like I was saying last night, I can't remember if it's in this vlog or the other vlog. In a vlog, I stated that I would like to at least try and get to part seven of the vlog. So we shall see, we shall find out what's happening there. Um but yeah, so we got about just like I said, just over two and a half hours left. So I go to my grandparents and do the theory. So we'll be able to get that read. Theoretically, it should be done. So, I want to stop trying to ramble and put thoughts into words into thoughts into words. I had it right at first, but it's one of those days. I hope you guys are prepared to end this vlog in that super chaotic mess because clearly it's one of those days where my brain's not working. I was trying to do work this morning, and it wasn't working. But I did pack orders, which was good. And I'm just a mess. My hands clean out doing anything. It's been one of those bad days. My back really fucking hurts. Pain. So yeah, I'm gonna just move swiftly on. Hey guys, so this challenge has come to an end. Um, as you had seen, I didn't complete the 24 hours. Um, I think that's when I got my nose left. I think um, I had read some more of Alice Paradox. I'm going to see that at 6 again. I'm now at page 208. So I had read a bit more. Um, but a lot of shit has happened today. Um, there's been some family issues of rise. So obviously that has taken priority over me reading and filming this video. So I'm coming in just to end it off now and um, do the outro and stuff. But yeah, so that has taken priority. Um, my head's not with it, so I'm gonna just try and give you guys as best as I can what's happened. Um, obviously I can't remember all the ratings, guys. So please don't ask me to remember. To actually, there's only technically two ratings. Um Brother Hawthorne's I wanna say maybe did I give it three points in the five? I might have done, I'm not sure. Um it was good. I was let down, disappointed, last call I saved it. Not the best. I yeah, disappointed. I'm intrigued to see what happens in the next one because that was left, but yeah, I'm not exactly dying to pick it up. Um then we had the reread of the out of six, which I left it with its normal rating. I don't don't think changed it um still enjoyed it still loved it still enjoyed the characters the story the plot very scientific still yeah as you guys can tell my brain is seriously not with it um so we finished those two books and then we have started two books obviously we started the atlas paradox um which i'm nearing halfway i would say about halfway -ish. maybe just under the way through and i've read over half of and run with me this morning which again i'm enjoying it still getting used to writing stuff because it's still different and level characters i am still having conflicting feelings about adam i'm still not quite sure about him and the whole warner situation i feel like i kind of can see where it's going before what i've read so far i feel like i can kind of understand where it's going um but yeah I, it's enjoyable I'm, I'm enjoying it and it's a good read and it's very fast paced which is really nice and it's refreshing and it means i can go through a book a bit quicker <laughs> um and then yeah at the paradox it's still very very heavy um on the info and what's happening and to read so it's still hurting my head a little bit i don't know how to hold it because i'm got the dust jacket on <laughs> um 
so yeah it's I'm enjoying it though and it's interesting it's picking up and I like I said I think we must start hitting the point where something's about to go down um but my head's not currently with it so we are stopping where we are so we have finished two books and we have started two books in this video um so that's not bad to be fair for what time i've read that's pretty good still and it's it got me some reading done um but yeah i don't really have much else i can say because like I said, my head's not very much with it but yeah this is the end of this video it has been a mess because personal reasons for myself for the first half not really being with it mentally and then i'll see now how it's ended um but yeah, I'm going to still put this video out for you guys so you guys can enjoy it. And you know, we still haven't done a fair lot of time um, in the bits that we did do. So yeah, I'm going to end it there, lovely. Let me know your thoughts on any of these books if you have read them um, or if you're going to read them. Let me know if there's any other ideas, books, and tips or videos you want to see me do, let me know as well. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end it there, lovely. Thank you for joining me in this chaotic. Beautiful. It's just my life right now. I'm <laughs> just guilty. Um, but yes, thank you guys so much. And I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video. Don't forget to keep smiling and be kind to everyone. Bye, guys. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be.